and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host, Owen. Guys, reflecting back on a, another win for Glasgow Rangers today away at Fir Park against Motherwell. But guys, just remember, before we get on to talk about the game today, please hit that sub, ring that notification bell, guys. The channel's been growing fantastically well over the last few um last week or so really you know 309 subs now so please hit that sub ring that notification bell and come and join glasgow rangers nation for daily rangers news views and updates and podcasts as well all for the brand price of nothing free absolutely zero and remember to come and join me and victoria as we talk all things rangers we look back at today's game we talk about alfie the players at our contract everything to do with glasgow rangers tomorrow from five past seven on or tomorrow's so actually today isn't it it's actually today guys i'm recording this on saturday that's why uh it counts as tomorrow but i'm uh, in the video on sunday obviously anyway let's talk about the victory at uh fur park over today over our opponents today motherwell um it was an interesting game and again rangers obviously fell behind um and obviously fought back and then allowed motherwell back into the game and then fought back again and you know, Michael Beale was a little bit frustrated, I think, after the game. And we'll talk, and I've got, got a bit of a reaction from him, a bit of a quote from him coming up in a bit, just town for that. Um, you know, the fact that we hadn't put the game away by then, you know, I think the fact where, you know, was it Mugabe or Mugabe or Robert Mugabe or whatever he's called? Um, nice to see what the uh, former Prime Minister of, of Zimbabwe is doing now. He's playing for Motherwell. Um, so when he scored that equaliser, it really should have been dead. The game should have been over and done with by that point. I think, you know, Rangers really did, you know, hurt themselves a little bit with some shocking defending, you know, for that goal. Um, they had to clear the ball, which, you know, we'll have a look at that goal shortly. But uh, overall, you know, that game should have been done, dead, gone, put away by then. Rangers, I think, at times... Do suffer from the lack of being a lack of being clinical, a lack of of putting games away, and that's something that could hurt us. You know, if you look at the stats from today, you know, Rangers had twenty eight shots, ten shots on target, seventy seven percent possession, played six hundred and ninety nine passes, ninety um, percent uh, pass accuracy as well. You know, it was very very good and dominated Motherwell from the aspect of pass passing and um, passing percentage and also from shots on goal by uh, the two teams. So overall, you know, there was a, it was a performance again where we created lots of chances, but just didn't take as many as we should have done. And the fact that obviously we scored four goals is fantastic, but it could have easily been six, seven, eight, one, eight, two, sorry, um, as opposed to four, two. Um, interesting though, before the game was the banner that was unveiled, obviously by the Union Bears in the away end. Here is the banner, time for change, obviously aimed at Ross Wilson and um, the board. Um, so, you know, and, and there's that famous picture that we've all seen on multiple times um you know so Michael Beale did say that he did feel that he wished the fans would just get behind the team rather than the protest but I suppose Michael's got to say that after all it is the board that employs him but there is obviously I think a growing groundswell of opinion against this current board and the fact they are holding Rangers back and obviously against Wilson too so interesting there uh before before the game you know there were some good performances by a number of rangers players today i think the players that obviously stood out for for us today was uh was tav tav was fantastic yet again you know got forward defended well got got his goals and crosses into the box as well got an assist i thought tav did very very well indeed today um but also, I thought, you know, Todd Cantwell was absolutely superb today. Absolutely fantastic going forward. And the criticism of him for going down too easily, you know, when he got the elbow in the face from Callum Slattery. You know, he was lucky to be on the pitch anyway after that appalling tackle on John Lundstrom. It was a scissor tackle. You know, it was an absolutely shocking, shocking tackle. And, you know, the referee gave him a yellow card for that first tackle. It, you know, it quite easily could have been you know a straight red for that it was absolutely appalling um you know and you and you listen to you know the condemnation that people have said you know that uh the camera went down too easily you know he got smacked in the face by slattery so you know i think it's a bit harsh to criticize um todd Cantwell for that but i thought Cantwell had a good game i thought fashion did very well indeed and yilmaz played well in his first game too you know uh first game starting for a while i thought he did very well indeed um for rangers today it was you know it was a good good performance 
overall by Rangers. Um, you know, some interesting, obviously, uh, the team selection was, uh, you know, probably the strongest team we could have selected with, obviously, with Nicholas Raskin out. Um, the one thing that did slightly concern me before the, before the game when I saw this team was the midfield of Jack Lundstrom and Cantwell, which to me seemed a bit conservative, a bit, you know, keeping it tight, a bit of lacking dynamism. And, uh, you know, maybe that was the case. I don't know. But that's certainly, you know, my feeling. I think, obviously, that's because of the fact that... Um, uh, you know, that Lundstrom is someone who does seem to slow things down and pass the ball sideways an awful lot. Um, I thought that, uh, you know, that, uh, like I said, Tav Cantwell and um, Tav Fashion were the standout players for today. I thought that um, Chawalak had a very poor game today. You know, he missed two guilt edge chances. He had a chance where he could have squared it to Fashion and we'll, we'll share that chance in a minute. Um, and he, he didn't take it. Even Ali McCoist himself, you know, Ali McCoist was talking about this and Ali was absolutely appalled at Cholak for not uh, facing that ball up across the goal for Fashion, who was running in on goal. You know, Cholak did not have a good performance. I thought Alfie did very well when he came on. I thought Alfie looked a lot more mobile. I thought he looked better. And I thought, thought the team actually looked better when Alfie was on instead of Cholak. And obviously that's going to be something that gets Michael Beale thinking and, you know... I, Personal opinion, I think, you know, when it comes to playing against Celtic, I think you play Alfie over over Cholak. I really do. I think, you know, what he's got their number, two irritates them. And I just think that he is a better forward than Cholak. Yes, there is a good, obviously, chance that he will not be here next season. But at the end of the day, I think you've got to give yourself the best opportunity to win. So, obviously, you know, Motherwell took the lead. Here's their goal. You know, you look at it, it's appalling defending from Rangers. You know, letting the guy run down the right, um, you know, got in behind Yilmaz. Ball was played to him. Yilmaz wasn't wasn't tracking his man. He's got all the time in the world to face across the goal. And, you know, McGregor doesn't come and cut it out. Um, defender doesn't deal with it. And it was a shocking, shocking piece of defending from Rangers to concede that opening goal. You know, fortunately, Rangers got back on level terms fairly soon after with a free kick goal by James Tavernier, Tavernier, Tavern, I would say his name wrong, <laughs> by Tav. Um, his 98th goal for the club. It's amazing that a right back is approaching 100 goals. It's absolutely just incredible. Here's Tav's goal. Now, you've got to, I think, if for the well, you've got to look at that and, and think the goalkeeper's got to do a lot better. His positioning was absolutely shocking for this goal, really was appalling on that goal there. Uh, Pop Liam Kelly, the Motherwell goalkeeper, I think, does carry a lot of blame. But, you know, you look at that, you look at that and, you know, it's fantastic for Tav. He gets the ball up, he gets the ball down. We've, scored, we've seen him score multiple free kick goals like that, but that was very good indeed, though, to get it up and down so well from that chance. So, well done, Tav. Uh, your 98th goal for the club. Obviously, at that point, it was 1-1. One, one. And Rangers obviously were right in the game. Um, so I was coming back, creating a number of chances. There was a lot of crossing into the box, I noticed today, sort of Yilmaz and Tav throwing it into the box very early, but uh, no one really getting on the end of it. So that was a bit of a change of tactic from Rangers. Then obviously we had the uh, fashion goal that made it 2-1 to Rangers. The chance, obviously, that we missed in the first half. Here we go. So Tav works down that beautiful ball in by Tav. Header that actually went off the back of Fashion's head. Michael Beale obviously happy with that chance. Fashion taking the acclaim of the crowd there. But if you look at it again, look at this. Tav works the space. Great ball in. Fashion gets in there. Great header by Fashion. Watch it actually hits the back of Fashion's head and go in. But great ball in by Tav and a great finish by fashion so you know 2-1 at that point and it looked like rangers would be cruising to victory at that point didn't it and, and you know some, playing some nice stuff creating some chances but once again some pretty awful awful defending cholak back defending didn't clear it tav didn't clear it you know both the goals you can put down to some absolutely appalling defending by rangers and this is something they obviously got to rectify before we play against celtic you cannot be afford to be defending like that against celtic but here is obviously motherwell's goal I just can hear my dog in the background when I download this clip. My dog in the background, but just some pretty shocking uh, defending there from um, 
from Rangers. Really, really poor, poor defending. So two two at that point, and you know Motherwell right back in the game in a game that you know in, in a game that they probably shouldn't have been back into at that, that point. So pretty, pretty poor. Um, you know, let's have a look. Obviously, then there was that we had the, uh, the you know we had the Cantwell goal, the Cholak miss. Let's have a look at that Cholak miss for a minute. You know, he's in there, and that what is he thinking there? I mean, that is appalling. Michael Bill's face, I think, says it all. He turns around to the coaching staff. Cholak's face says it all as well. But you know, if you look again, look, just look at this. This, this is this is poor. That is poor. But if you look at there, he's got fashion raging in, doesn't get his head up. If he gets his head up, he sees fashion and he needs to pull that ball across the box. He pulls it across the box. Fashion has a tap in there. Um, easy for Rangers. Um, and that was that was very poor play indeed by Antonio Char. But I thought he had a very poor game today, Charlak. And like I said, I think they look better when Alfie came on. Then obviously Cantwell gets his goal, his first ever goal for Rangers. Fantastic for Todd Cantwell, who I thought had a very, very good game today. His passing was excellent. His, his tackling was good. His, his positioning was good. His, his forward motion was very good indeed. He did play very well indeed. And here is his goal. Now, obviously, again, a bit of a scramble in the box. It falls block shot but Cantwell all the composure in the world to put it away celebrates royally with the Rangers fans great celebration there um but you know you look at it it's it's about a control shot I mean obviously yeah, a bit of a bubble control but it's that composure to, to there not to blaze it over the bar from there good composure from Todd Cantwell in that position obviously makes it three two to Rangers then it's fantastic to see obviously Malik Tillman come on come on and start to have an influence again and he gets that goal that, into, that welcomes him back into the first team let's have a look at that goal from Tillman You know, Tillman there, you know, great finish, body over the ball, great finish into the top end. And look at that, great shot by Tillman. Skill there to actually put the ball in at the back of the net. Fantastic from Tillman to make it 4-2 to Rangers. So 4-2 victory, but like a, I think like I tweeted out earlier, it could have easily been 6-7-8-2 easily to Rangers. You know, a number of chances obviously went begging. A decent performance. You know, Michael Beale has got this team playing playing some good football. He's got them creating a lot of chances. We just need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. This is what Michael Beale had to say after the game. He said, he told BBC Scotland, BBC News round, uh, Sports Round, sorry. I thought we were in control of the whole game. It was just whether we could up our quality. Again, we're frustrated there wasn't a couple of more goals. We would like to see us score more. It's becoming a little bit of a habit. This team are capable of scoring more goals. I think it's like we were saying again, you know, it's down to this fact that, like I said, we could have easily had five, six, seven goals easily today if we put some of those chances away and been a little bit more clinical with the finishing. And I think that's something that's obviously frustrating Michael Beale and frustrating Rangers fans as well. You know, great to get the victory today. Great to, for the boys, you know, a good performance overall. But I just think at the end of the day, you've got to be putting those chances away and, you know, when it comes to playing against better teams in Europe and obviously playing against the green and white shower from across the city, you've got to be looking at it in terms of the fact that you've got to take those chances when they fall to you. You know, you're probably not going to get the same number of chances you get against the Motherwell's hearts and hibs of this world, against the Celtics and in the Champions League. You know, you've got to take the chances when they are presented to you and certainly not hope that you suffer because of them. But overall, you know, a good victory for Rangers for 2 and, you know, we, we go onwards, we go upwards. Uh, we obviously got the international break now. Bit of a rest before our next game, obviously, which is upcoming after the international break. Um, you know, there was obviously that that pause now um, from for Rangers. There is a pause before we play against Dundee United. Um, but uh, overall, you know, a decent performance today from Glasgow Rangers to get three points. Um Obviously, the gap is still nine points, but there's two L firm games left to go in the league. So we can even get it down to three points. And I'm, I'm confident we can do that if we play our strongest team and play to the full strength of our abilities. Anyway, thank you for watching Glasgow Rangers Nation. I've been Owen, your host, guys. Always remember, no surrender. We are the people. Please hit that sub, ring that notification bell, and come join the Glasgow Rangers Nation channel.